10 ngayong afternoon. Ayan. Okay. Um, okay, we will discuss po. I'm um, sorry, loud and clear naman po ba yung uh, mic ko ngayon? Yes, loud and clear. Thank you. Ayan. So, we'll discuss po natin this for this afternoon afternoon is the secret to saving and building your future. Okay? Um, lahat po yan nasa librong ito. Okay? And uh, magsastart po tayo with True Millionaire's Prayer with uh, by Brother Bo Sanchez. Today, I ask you to bless me so I may become a blessing. Lord, I commit myself to enrich others, but because I cannot give what I do not have, I commit myself to become rich. I commit myself to serve you and to serve the poor with my wealth. Today, I open myself to the abundance of your universe. Use me as your channel of love. Give me the ability to... Will, um, to create wealth that will bless the world, increase my financial wisdom, and expand my territories. I place my life in your hands in Jesus' name. Amen. So um, we respectfully request all to abide by this house rules. So um, we request po na for the meantime, um, mute your mics to avoid um, uh, disturbing other um, um, guests din po no, na umaattend ng webinar natin. And as much as possible po, open po natin yung video natin para um, makita ko naman po yung mga mukha ng mga nagagandahan at nagkakapuhan natin mga guest. And um, if you have um, notebooks um, or pen and paper, you can write down anything that you will learn for today. Okay? So let's have fun and learning at the same time. So sa, sa, sa mga hindi pa po nakakilala sa akin, uh, my passion and mission is to help every family become financially secured on investing safely and correctly move them from dreaming to doing. This passion and mission, hindi lang po siya sa akin. Okay, so this is actually a passion and mission of IMG and every coaches as well. All right, so I'm Coach Christine Lozada. I'm currently a marketing director of International Marketing Group or IMG, um, financial coach or trainer of the Truly Rich Makers team. And I'm formerly customer service representative and freelancer po. So if you want my contact details po, this is my contact details, my contact number, email address, and Facebook page. So sa mga hindi pa po nakaka-visit, you can check my Facebook page din po. Um, Nagpo-post po tayo din ng mga tips, ng mga information with regards to finance, um, financial education or financial literacy. And um, again po, thank you po sa mga ma-attend for this afternoon and um, for the people who have invited you to attend. I hope marami po kayo matutunan. And kung ano man po matutunan nyo for today is ma-apply din po natin siya for the, uh, for the rest of our lives. Ayan. Okay? So, mga finances natin. Okay. So, again, um, this, is, um, this is what we're going to discuss. The secret to saving and uh, building your future. So, how to remain financially healthy during these adversities. So, ayan, isip ko na yan, ha? So, friend, this is your ticket to upgrading your financial life. May your dreams come true by uh, Brother Bo Sanchez. So, sa mga hindi pa po nakakalala kay Brother Bo Sanchez, isa po siya sa mga um, mentors ng IMG natin. Okay? Mga, uh, isang magaling na inspirational speaker. All right? And so why do we need financial education? So many good, hardworking, smart, young, and old fail. Retire without savings. So marami daw sa atin na hardworking, maraming matatalino, maraming bata or matatanda na nag-fail. Bakit? Kasi nag retire without savings. Okay, so many don't plan to fail. They simply fail to plan. So syempre hindi naman natin gusto mag plano na magkamalit or magfail tayo eh, di ba? So, ang nag ang nangyayari lang is nakakalimutan natin magplan for the future. Di ba? So kasi um kadalasan nangyayari is ang kasabihan na YOLO. You only live once, di ba? So, kumbaga um seize the day, di ba? Kung anong meron ngayon, yun lang. Hindi tayo nagpaplano for the future. So, no emergency funds, no healthcare and no extra income. So, yan. Why do we need financial education? So, kulang sa kaalaman. So, dagdagan natin for today. So, isa pa is wrong money mindset. Diba? Many believe that financial education is only for the wealthy. Naniniwala po ba kayo na ang um, financial education is para lang sa mga mayayaman? Diba? Siyempre hindi. Ang financial education po is para sa lahat. May karapatan po tayo malaman ang financial education or financial literacy. 
All right? So many believe that solution to financial challenges is to borrow money. So may mga guilty po ba na kapag nagkakaroon ng financial challenges, isipin lang natin na kapag wala akong pambaya dito, manghiheram na lang ako ng pera para maka-survive. Diba? So, yun yung mga kadalasan na wrong money mindset natin eh. Na kulang yung pera ko. Sige, mga hiram na lang ako sa kakilala ko. Diba? So, para makasurvive for the rest of the cut off hanggang sa dumating yung sweldo. Diba? Pero ang nangyayari, hindi pa rin nagiging sapat. Kasi, ang nangyayari, pag dumating yung sunod na cut off na sweldo natin, mga hiram ulit tayo ng pera. Diba? Kasi hindi sapat. Okay? So, lalo lang tayo malulubog sa utang. So, some even rely on luck. So yung iba, iniisip nila yayaman lang sila or magkakapera lang sila kapag tumataya sa loto. Diba? May mga ganun po ba sa atin, mga tumataya sa loto dito or sa nagagamble? Diba? So iniisip nila kapag um, pumusta ako or tumaya ako sa loto, doon lang ako magiging milyonaryo. Siyempre hindi po. May mga paraan para yumaman tayo or para magkaroon tayo ng fortune. Diba? So maling akala. So, low savings and high debt. Mababa yung savings natin, pero mataas yung utang natin. So, many people use their credit cards as emergency fund. Diba? So, may mga, kung sino man po yung mga credit card dito, diba? hindi po emergency fund si credit card. Okay? Kasi po, si credit card po, may high interest po siya. So, kapag ginagamit po natin si credit card, pag emergency fund, diba? mas lalo lang din po tayo malulubog sa utang. Okay, due to high interest, di ba? So, most people don't know how to manage their debts. Their debts manage them. So, nangyayari dito is, yung utang na natin yung nagmamanage sa atin, di ba? Ganun po yung kadalasan na nangyayari. Kasi nasa stress na tayo. And baon sa utang, hirap mag-retire. So, ito po yung mga ibang um, wrong money mindset, no? Kasi ang thinking ng mga Filipino is, makapag-retire lang ako pag dumating na ako sa age na 65, age na 60 years old, age na 70 years old, doon ako mag-retire. So, yun po yung mga ibang wrong money mindset natin. Dapat, makapag, ang totoo po niya, makapag-retire po tayo kapag may enough savings sa tayo to sustain our responsibilities and expenses. Diba? So, pag dumating na po yung time na yun, malaki na po yung savings natin to um, cover all the expenses and responsibilities na meron tayo, that's the time that we can retire hindi po sa edad. Diba? So kung mas bata pa po tayo, na nakapag-ipo na tayo, edi mas maganda, mas maaga rin po tayo makakapag-enjoy ng life natin. Diba? So saving the wrong way. Many end up with nothing after working for 20 to 30 years for they did not know how to invest correctly. So marami po sa atin na 30 years nang nagtatrabaho. Pero same scenario pa din po ang nangyayari. Uh, papasok ako ng work, sa sweldo ako, every cut off or every uh, once a month, sweldo ako, di ba? Tapos magbabayad ako ng responsibilities ko, magbabayad ako ng utang ko, and then again, you will do the same thing. Di ba? Pero walang nangyayari. Hindi nag increase yung um, savings natin. Di ba? Hindi, hindi, hindi tayo nakapag-save para sa retirement natin. Ang nangyayari is mas nagkatrabaho pa tayo ulit. Di ba? We're working hard for the money. So, many don't know how to save the right way. Diba? So, if we don't know how to invest correctly, tapos hindi na natin alam kung paano mag-save ng tama, saan na lang po tayo pupunta? Diba? Uh, hindi naman po natin alam kung hanggang kailan natin kaya magtrabaho. Diba? Maraming unexpected na pwedeng mangyari. Diba? Katulad ng pandemic. Ng mga, uh, marami na wala ng trabaho. So, Filipinos are the only people in the world with, with mandated 13th month pay since 1975. Investing five years of 13th month pay or at least 100,000, it will be multi-millions in retirement fund. Imagine, since 1975, Filipinos lang po yung may mandated 13th month pay. Kung ang iisipin po natin na yung 13th month pay po natin is bonus na pwede natin i-invest or i-save, Diba? Magiging multi-millions na rin pala siya in retirement funds natin. Diba? Five years lang natin siyang i-invest. Pero kasi ang nangyayari sa mga um, thinking ng Filipino is kapag na-receive ko yung 13th month pay ko or bonus ko, ang susunod kong gagawin, ano kaya yung bibilhin ko? Diba? So, iisipin natin, ah, bonus to. So, may extra akong pwedeng gastusin. 
Yeah, ganun po kasi yung mindset natin. So isipin natin pag dumating na si bonus, ano kaya susunod kong bibilhin na um, na cellphone? Ano kaya ang susunod kong bibilhin na gadget? Or ano kaya ang susunod kong ipapaayos sa bahay namin? 'Di ba? Or ipapa um magpapa second floor na ako or ganyan. So yun yung nangyayari sa atin. Iniisip agad natin kung anong gagastusin natin. So bago pa dumating yung 13th month pay natin, ubos na siya. Kakaisip natin ng mga gagastusin natin. Alright, so di alam ang tama. So sabi ni Sir Robert Kiyosaki, if you want to be rich, you need to be financially literate. So kung gusto mong umaman, dapat maging financially literate. So dapat pag-aralan natin. So I want to share the following. How do we increase cash flow? How to invest correctly? How to manage debts? How to remain financially healthy? And more. So ayan, concept number one, building blocks of a solid financial foundation. So ito po yung isang building, uh, I mean, isang foundation na pinaka gusto kong matandaan natin. Okay, so um, ito po yung mga makakatulong sa atin. Paano nga ba tayo makakapagsimula? Diba? So ayan, understanding the building blocks. So dapat matibay po ang pundasyon natin. Alam natin yung order of priority natin. Healthcare, long term and short term, and then income protection, life insurance, and then eliminate debts or debt management, emergency funds or savings, bonds, and then investments or equities and assets. Diba? Solid financial foundation. Bakit nga ba? So, what is your current situation right now? Weak foundation ba siya? Investments malaki? Tapos malit yung emergency fund natin or wala tayong emergency fund? Tapos marami tayong utang, malaking utang na natin. Tapos may, may income protection tayo pero maliit lang din or wala tayong income protection or wala rin tayong health care or long-term health care. Diba? Kung ganito yung foundation natin, it's a weak foundation. Okay? Ano nga ba yung strong foundation? So, ano yung, yung diniscuss ko kanina which is the health care or long-term and short-term and then income protection or life insurance, eliminate debts or debt management, emergency funds, savings bonds, investments, and equities or assets. Bakit? Kasi po ang finances natin is parang pagpapatayo ng bahay natin. Okay? So dapat, syempre kapag nagpapatayo po tayo ng bahay, hindi naman po natin pwedeng sabihin sa carpentero, sa engineer, or sa architect na pwede po ba pauna yung bubong ng bahay ko kasi nagmamaday na akong tumira. Syempre hindi po. Lagi po natin papauna yung pundasyon ng bahay natin. Bakit? Kasi po, syempre kapag kahit anong magsakuna ang mangyari, prepared yung bahay natin, matibay yung pundasyon ng bahay natin. ba? Diba? Same thing with our finances. Okay, so if you want to build a solid financial foundation, we need to start from um, below. ba? Diba? Pataas. ba? Diba? So like what I said, it's healthcare long-term and short-term. Again, income protection, life insurance, eliminate debts or debt management, emergency funds, savings bonds, and then investments, equities or assets. Okay? So, Um, people fail financially for they build a weak foundation. So, build a solid financial foundation. Okay? So, yan po yung mga isang goal ni IMG. Kasi marami po sa atin na um, hindi alam kung paano nga ba natin i-build yung foundation ng finances natin. Kasi anong nangyayari is, kapag weak foundation tayo, so for example, like this one, sa um, first um, first um, um, drawing, di ba? Na investments, malaki po yung investments niya. Tapos wala siyang healthcare. Diba? What if something happened? May emergency nangyari na kailangan nating pumunta ng hospital. Diba? May nagkasakit sa family natin, unexpected natin, or tayo na um, breadwinner ng family natin. So, ang mangyayari is, kukuni natin yung investments natin. Diba? Hindi naman pwedeng sabihan sa ng doktor na uh, pwede po ba, kukunin ko na po muna investments ko. Yes, it's possible kunin yung investments mo. Pero what if mababa si market? Diba? Manulugi ka pa. Diba? So, importante po may long-term and short-term healthcare din tayo na pwede natin i-present sa doctors natin or sa hospital. Diba? Kasi, hindi, kasi kadalasan, ang nagiging reason is um, na pagpunta natin sa hospital is yung mga illnesses na hindi natin in-expect. Okay? So, yan. Strong foundation. Okay, paano nga ba? Sabi ni Sir Rex Mendoza, you don't have the right to invest unless you are properly protected. Ayan. So, building a solid financial foundation. So, protection muna bago invest. Okay. So, concept number two, understanding how money works. We all know how to make money, but most don't know how to make money work. 
'di ba? Alam natin na paano tayo magtatrabaho na magtatrabaho para sa pera. Pero posible pala na yung pera magtatrabaho din para sa atin. Diba? Parang kung papakinggan natin, parang napaka-imposible na yung pera magtatrabaho para sa atin. Diba? Pero posible po siya. So, alamin po natin siya as we go along with the, with the webinar. Alright? So, what we need to know about growing money? Yeah, the positive and negative. So, you can grow wealth if you increase the positive and reduce the negative. Ano nga po ba yung mga positive? So, pera, if we increase our cash flow, that's positive. Diba? Yung time natin. Diba? As much as possible, as early as possible, diba? makapag-save na tayo, makapag-invest na tayo, mas malaki yung mag- um, magiging return natin. Diba? Ano nga ba yung mga negative? Interest rates, inflation, taxes. Diba? Kung isipin niyo po yung inflation, um, masyado na po siya mataas ngayon. Dati, pag lalala ko po ng bata pa ako, pag bumibili po ako sa tindahan, bibigyan po ako ng piso ni mama. Yung piso ko po, marami po ako mabibiling candy. Di ba? Ngayon, pag bumili po ako, gamit yung piso ko, mabibili ko na lang na candy isa. Isang piraso. Di ba? Tapos, alala ko pa nun yung um, may nag-post sa Facebook yung halaga nung um, kilo ng baboy. Ngayon, ang na- iuwi lang niya sa family niya ay yung slice na lang ng baboy. Bakit? Kasi masyado ng mahal. Mataas na po yung inflation rate. Alright, so the positive must be higher than the negative to build wealth. Okay, so concept number three, money talk strategies of the wealthy. Paano mag-isip ang mga mayayaman? So interesting, Paan, bakit nga ba ang mga mayayaman yung mas yumayaman? Bakit nga ba ang mga mahirap mas humihirap? Diba? So paano nga ba mag-isip? Sabi daw po sa, finan- uh, sa finances, merong two types of mindset. Merong poor mindset, and or PM and the other one is RM or rich mindset. Ano nga ba ang poor mindset? Ang poor mindset po is spend money and save what is left. Sorry. And then consider healthcare and insurance as expense and works hard for the money. So yan po si poor mindset. So sabi daw po dito, si poor mindset daw po, ang nangyayari is kapag dumating si income, gagastos niya na muna and save what is left. E ang nangyayari, kadalasan, dahil inuna niya yung mga responsibilities in mga expenses niya, wala nang matitira for the savings. ba? Diba? So, consider healthcare and insurance as expense. So, iniisip nila na ang insurance daw for healthcare is gastos lang, hindi investment. ba? Diba? And works hard for the money. So, nagtatrabaho lang sa nagtrabaho para kumita ng pera. Ganun po si poor mindset. Okay? Ano nga ba si rich mindset? Si rich mindset po or si RM, save money and spend what is left. Consider healthcare and insurance as investment and let money work for them. So imagine nyo po, di ba? So sa una pa lang po, makikita nyo na yung difference si rich mindset at saka ni poor mindset. Si rich mindset, kapag dumating yung income niya o yung pera niya, nagsisave muna siya ng portion ng pera niya, di ba? And then, yung matitira at saka niya gagastusin. Okay, kita nyo po yung difference. And then, consider healthcare and insurance as investment. So, nagiging prepared sila. Ganun po si rich, uh, si rich mindset. And then, let's money work for them. So, yung money working for them through investments. ba? So, the difference between the wealthy and most people is the way they think in planning their future. Okay, so dapat baguhin natin. Paano nga ba tayo magpaplano magiging magiging um forever na poor mindset na po ba tayo? Syempre dapat we consider na maging rich mindset din tayo. All right? So concept number four. So the X curve concept. So ito po ah, ito po yung X na pinaka gusto kong tandaan niyo right now. Kung so kung may mga broken hearted man po, oh, ano may mga X diyan, kalimutan niyo na po muna. So ito po yung X na dapat nating tandaan. So, the X-curve concept. So, life-changing financial strategy we all need to learn and do. So, the X-curve concept po, so yan, para mas matinda natin, si blue line po is yung money line natin. Si red line is the responsibility line. Alright? So, si um, habang bata pa po tayo, wala pa po tayong savings. Pero, pagtanda natin, dapat 
meron na tayong enough savings. Okay? Kasi habang bata pa tayo, meron pa rin tayong big responsibilities eh. Nakita niyo po. So, meron, wala tayong savings, pero meron pa rin tayong responsibilities. Ano, ba, ano nga ba yung mga responsibilities natin? Siyempre po, yung mga big, uh, I mean, yung mga basic necessities natin. So, dapat pagtanda natin, no responsibilities na tayo. Kasi kaya nang isupport ng big savings natin, yung mga responsibilities natin. So, habang bata pa tayo, we only have the active income. You work hard for the money. Diba? So, same responsibility, food, shelter, clothing, education, health, and debts, and loan. So, yan po yung mga responsibilities natin. So, dapat, pagtanda natin, meron na tayong passive income. Money working for us. Diba? Kasi bakit? We still have the same responsibilities. Food, shelter, clothing, education, health. Dapat, debt-free na rin tayo. Para pagtanda natin, wala na tayong stress. Diba? Wala na tayong iniisip na dapat bayaran. Same thing dap yung health din natin. Diba? Dapat ma-cover the big savings natin, yung health natin. Kasi, bakit? Tuwing kailan po ba uh, naramdaman yung mga sakit? Diba? Pag tumatanda na po tayo or nagkakaedad na po tayo. Okay? So, sa life daw po, merong two ifs. What if we die too soon? And the other one is, what if we live too long? Diba? If we die too soon po, Lord, wag naman po sana. Pero syempre, We, this is something that we need to discuss kasi wala naman po tayong kay kontra, wala naman po tayong contract kay Papa God, di ba? Hindi naman natin pwedeng sabihin, Lord, pwede bang haya, habaan mo naman yung contract ng buhay ko, di ba? So, we need to be prepared. So, what if we die uh, too soon? Just in case lang po. Sabi dito, protect your family, instant money or insurance or income replacement. And if we live too long, thank you, Lord, we live too long, di ba? Protect yourself investments, and living on interest. Diba? Siyempre po, pag humaba yung buhay natin, we still need to be able to cover diba? um, ourselves or protect ourselves diba? and living on interest. Dapat nga po, may passive income. Okay? If we die too soon or just in case something happen, diba? dapat po may income replacement tayo para sa family natin. Okay? So, yan. Sa building block number one na po tayo, healthcare, long-term and short-term. So, choosing the right healthcare. Yan, chapter 2 na po tayo. So, paano nga ba natin manalaman? Ano nga ba ang right healthcare? Diba? Kasi iniisip natin, kapag sinasabi na iba, ah, okay, so gano'n na lang para siya. Sige, kuha na ako. So, paano nga ba natin manalaman? Ano nga ba ang iba't ibang healthcare protection? Okay, so what are the kinds of healthcare? So, what if you get sick? How are you protected? Meron po tayong short-term or HMO, senior care, long-term care. So, protect your health to protect your wealth. Yeah. So, healthcare company, HMO, ito po yung short-term healthcare. So, you pay yearly, you lose even if not used. Your benefit as an employee. So, usually, ito po ay 21 to 60 years old. So, employment productive years po natin siya. Okay, so kung may mga nagtatrabaho po sa atin dito, ito po yung mga pinaprovide ng company natin, yung HMO natin. So kapag nagkakasakit tayo, di ba na nagsisik leave tayo, ito po yung mga pinapresent natin sa um, hospital, yung short-term na card na HMO. Okay, so ano po yung isa? Long-term health care. Long-term care plan po siya, you pay for 7 years for lifetime use and it even grows. Okay, so 61 and beyond retirement years, yun po yung tinatawag na um, senior care. Ito pong long-term health care na to, this is something that you need to have or have uh, you have to get before 60 years old. Okay? So, yung 61 and beyond retirement years, yan na po yung senior care. So, para po siyang HMO. Okay? So, ganun po siya. Bakit nga po ba kailangan natin kumuha ng long-term care before our 60 years old? Kasi po, kapag lumagpas na po tayo ng 60 years old or 61 and beyond, kukuha po tayo ng senior care natin, mas expensive na po siya. And para po siyang HMO na um, you pay yearly but uh, you lose even if not used. Okay? So, yan po siya. So, the final test of a good healthcare. Ano nga ba yung magandang healthcare? Dapat po, mayroon siyang four cornerstones. So, dapat meron siyang short-term healthcare use for now. So, just in case magkaroon tayo ng emergency, pwede natin siyang i-present. Meron din po siyang use for later, long-term healthcare. Yan po. Meron din po siyang life insurance or death benefits. 
And then meron siyang saving and investments or money growth. So um, great news po kasi po si IMG po is meron partner with Kaiser International. So si Kaiser po answers the four cornerstones and three in one po siya. Investment, healthcare, life insurance po siya. So protects your family in case something happened to you. Always, uh, I mean, allows you to save and invest while covered by companies HMO. So for example, nagkatrabaho po tayo ngayon, may HMO tayo. Well, we have the HMO and investing with Kaiser International. May savings and investment na po siya, which is the use for later. Diba? So geared to address your long-term healthcare needs after retirement. Diba? So lifetime use po siya. The best healthcare protection that builds solid financial foundation. Ayan po si Kaiser. Okay, so bakit nga ba investment? Kasi may three major needs to complete your financial foundation. Diba? So investment to generate continuing income for you when you retire. So letting money work for you. So ayan, money working for you po yan kasi investment po siya. Income protection or life insurance to protect your family if you die too soon to replace your income, help finance your children's education, pay estate tax, pay debts, etc. And instantly life insurance is instant money po. And then healthcare to provide you health care when you retire or stop working. Someone to take care of you when you grow old. Ganyan po si Kaiser International. All right. So why is long-term health care the priority? Think about this. You can't retain your company HMO when you resign or retire. Diba? Bakit nga ba? Hindi mo naman po pwedeng sabihin na sa boss nyo po na pag mag resign na tayo. Boss, pwede po ba ano, pag nag-retire na ako or mag resign na ako after this month or tomorrow? Dadalhin ko po yung HMO para po may present ako sa hospital. Siyempre po hindi. Automatic po, kapag nag-resign po tayo o nag-retire po tayo, si HMO po is mga wala ng visa. mag expire po siya. Okay? So most people rely on their children, sell properties, or borrow money for their medical needs at retirement. So naniniwala po ba kayo dito na yung iba po, iniisip po nila na kapag tumanda naman ako, nandiyan naman yung mga anak ko. Nandiyan naman yung mga anak ko para supportahan ako. Nandiyan naman yung anak ko kasi pinag-aral ko yan eh. ba? Diba? So, may mga guilty po ba dito? So, ba? Diba? Isipin natin na kapag tumanda ako, ano, um, hayaan ko yung anak ko mag-alaga sa akin. Siyempre, dapat po baguhin natin yung mindset na yan. Kasi po, bakit? What if mag-aasama po yung anak natin? ba? Diba? Ang pa-prioritize po ng anak natin is yung family niya. Magkakaroon din po siya ng family na dapat yung alagaan. Diba? And dapat maging prepared din po siya sa future ng family niya. Eh what if po, tapos isipin natin, paano kung hindi pa natin kasundo yung magiging manugang natin? ba? Diba? So mas magkakaroon ng um, conflict. So yung uh, others sell properties. Actually, na-experience ko po to. I mean, not directly na ako po yung naka-experience. Na-experience po to ng papa ko. So nung nagbubuntis po si mama, hindi niya po alam na magiging complicated yung pagbubuntis ng mom ko. na need pa lang cesarean si mama. Tapos hindi po prepared si papa. Wala po siya ipapresent sa hospital. Ang pera po ni papa is I think less than uh, 1,000. I don't know, less than 5,000. As in, hindi po kayang i-cover yung hospital bills. So, ang nangyari po, since hindi po prepared yung papa ko that time, ang ginawa niya po is binenta niya yung kotse niya para po makabayad sa hospital bills and makontinue yung operation ni mama. So, yung mga unexpected scenarios, yun po yung mga dapat nating paghandaan. Okay? So, majority of personal bankruptcy is due to medical crisis. So, karamihan po talaga ng mga personal bankruptcy is medical crisis. Yun yung mga hindi natin in-expect na, ay, hindi natin in-expect na magkaroon tayo na sakit, pero meron pala. ba diba? So, we need to be prepared just in case. ba diba? So healthcare um healthcare protection in all stages of your life is a must. So sabi nga po kanina, 'di ba? You don't have the right to invest if you're not properly protected. Okay? So si Kaiser Long-Term Healthcare is building a solid financial foundation again po. So imagine the Kaiser plan. For example, the first one, K45. 88 pesos daily lang po siya. Ang babayaran po natin 7 year total premium is 221,000. pesos. Maturity value at 20 years is 524,000. Diba? At 30 years, meron na po tayong 1.36 million. And at 40 years, meron na po tayong 3.5 million. Diba? Imagine kung 88 pesos ang isi-save natin per day. 
what can we get after after the maturity date? Diba? Ang babayaran na natin is 221,000 pesos. Okay? So, yan po siya. So, si Kaiser Medical Center po is meron different locations. Si Kings Court, Makati, Cebu, Mactan, SMCT, um, SMC side Cebu. Diba? So, and many, many more to come. So, if you want to know more details with regards to Kaiser, you can ask the person who have invited you um, with regards to this. Meron din po kaming separate webinar about Kaiser. Yan. And ask nyo lang po yung um, person na nag-invite sa inyo. Okay. So, uh, um, second building block na po tayo, which is the income protection or life insurance. This is something sensitive. I understand po. Kasi kung isipin natin, di pa naman po ako mamamatay. Hindi ko pa naman na-expect yun. Siyempre, wala po ang ina-expect na mamamatay ka agad. Diba? Pero, this is something that we also need to be prepared for. Okay. Bakit nga ba? So, understanding the purpose of life insurance, in case you can't be there to cash, then make sure you leave a safety net. So, big question is, do you love your family? Diba? So, we need life insurance to protect your family, to replace your income, to finance children's education, to pay estate tax as instant money for family, to pay off debts. So, if you love your family, get yourself protected. Bakit nga ba? So, kung may mga breadwinners po sa atin dito, syempre, tayo po yung nagtatrabaho para sa family natin. Tayo po yung nagpapasok ng pera para sa family natin or para sa future ng family natin. We also need to be protected. ba What if, just in case, ba Hindi naman natin na-expect, pero just in case, something happen. ba We need something na mag replace ng income natin para mag-continuous yung daily lives ng family natin. Diba? To replace your income. And yung insurance din po is, um, ano siya eh, instant money din po siya for the family. Para din po sa future ng family, yung education ng mga anak natin. Okay? So again, if you love your family, get yourself protected. So there, sa insurance po, uh, may types of life insurance po kasi. I don't know if you heard po, yung VUL. Okay, so insurance with bundled investments. The investment is tied to insurance. The control of investment is with the insurance company. Usually more expensive, premiums for insurance and the bundled investments are fixed. So yung mga VUL po, um, or yung bundled investments po. So for example po, um, may nangyara just in case something happened. Automatic po, kukunin po natin si term insurance. Mawawala din po si investment. Ganun po siya. So, kung tignan niyo po ako sa camera, so, for example, bundled po siya. Na may nangyari po, kukunin po si term insurance, automatic po, mawawala din si investment natin. Same thing, pag kukunin natin si investment natin, automatic po, mawawala si term insurance natin. Okay? So, the other one is the pure insurance with investments. So, the investment is independent from insurance. The control of investment is with you. A lot cheaper than other types, you have freedom to vary your investment. So my recommend, recommendation is buy term invested difference. The other one po is the separate one. Meron po siyang pure term insurance, meron po siyang investments. So again, tinan niyo po ako sa camera. So for example po, si pure term insurance, just in case something happen, kukunin po natin siya. May investment pa rin po tayo. Matitira pa rin po si investment. Same thing po. Pag kunin, gusto natin kunin si investment, nandiyan pa rin po si pure term insurance natin. Okay? So, also, the control of investment is with you. So, nasa sa'yo po yan kung gusto niyo pong dagdagan si investment, much better din po. Okay? Ganun po siya. So, the final test of a good insurance. So, meron din po siya. Dapat po, may four cornerstones. Para po malaman natin na good insurance siya. So kasi karamihan sa atin kapag kumukuha po tayo ng insurance, kung ano lang pong offer ng kakilala natin, yun na po siya. Diba? Hindi po. Dapat alam din po natin na may four cornerstone siya. So dapat may protection or income replacement po, safety or no negative, tax advantage or no tax. Dapat po may growth or high return. So it must have four cornerstones. So how much insurance do you need? Magkano nga ba yung ting natin na insurance na kailangan natin? Sabi dito, annual income times 10 is equals to income replacement. Dapat po ganun siya. So for example po, si A, may 40,000 pesos na sweldo. Okay? Times 12. ba? Equals 480,000 times 10 
yan po yung magiging income replacement, which is 4.8 million. So, 23,700 for 30 years old, 65 pesos per day. Ganyan po siya. Okay? So, Manila Bankers Life, great news. Again po, si IMG po is meron pong partner, which is the Manila Bankers Life, multiple options to per term 18. Sorry. <clears throat> so, ayan po. Example po, itong face amount natin. At age of 30 years old, kung titignan po natin, tapos ang plan natin kunin is 5 million coverage, di ba yung face amount, ang babayaran po natin annual is 23,700 pesos po. Yan po siya. Annual po yan. Di ba? For the coverage of 5 million. So just in case something happen, di ba? Nagbayad tayo for this year ng 23,700, automatic po si family natin may makukuha 5 million pesos. Nakikita niya po? So ito lang po yung babayaran natin pero ito po yung pwedeng makuha. Di ba? 5 million. All right. So do you know that this is almost equal to what you pay for a 1 million auto insurance? What is more important, car or your family? So I don't know po if narinig niyo na po yung story, di ba? So meron pong isang um, tao na tinanong po siya, bakit ka ba kumukuha ng car insurance? Di ba? Kasi karamihan sa ating mga, ano yung mga tao, mas sinuuna natin kuha na ng insurance yung mga kotse natin, yung motor, di ba? yung mga gamit natin. Mas kinuha natin sila ng insurance. Bakit? Kasi para maging prepared, just in case na magkaroon ng accident, may pang cover up kagad tayo. May pang gawa kagad tayo sa masisira na, um, na part ng kotse natin or part ng mga motor natin. Di ba? Ganun yung thinking natin. So imagine po natin, di ba? tayo po yung nagtatrabaho para sa family natin. Diba? So just in case something happened na hindi natin yung na-expect, diba? dapat we're prepared to support our family even if something happened. Ganun po siya. Diba? So kung kaya po natin magbayad para sa insurance ng kotse natin, bakit hindi po natin protekta din ang sarili natin? Imagine, ito lang po yung binabayad kung For example, 1 million at the age of 30 years old. Annual payment po ah. 5,710 pesos lang po ang babayaran natin. Just in case something happened, automatic 1 million po marilisit ni family. Ganun po siya. Okay? So, number three, eliminate debts or debt management. Ayan. So, marami po sa ating possible na guilty na maraming utang. Diba? Paano nga ba i-manage yung debts natin? So, managing bad debts effectively. Chapter 4 na po tayo. So, may pag-asa pa tayong lahat. Okay, so why people fall on debt trap? Bakit nga ba? Bakit nga ba mas nalulubog tayo sa utang? Diba? Buy now, pay later. 0% down payment, sales or discounts. No or low, low down payment, sale. Diba? 0% installment. So most people don't have the slightest idea of good debt versus bad debt. So hindi naman po namin sinasabi na huwag tayong mangutang. Pero dapat alamin natin ano nga ba yung mga good debt versus bad debt. Diba? So may mga guilty po ba na sa mga nakikita nila na pag 5-5, yan, susunod po 6-6 na. Diba? Yung mga sale, mga Lazada. Diba? So yun po yung mga inisip natin. Ano nga ba yung good debt versus bad debt? So yung good debt po, um, ito po yung pagkailangan natin manghiram ng pera, diba? para mag-increase ng cash flow natin or pang business natin. Ganyan po yung good debt. Yung bad debt po, ito po yung um, tipong mas malulubog pa tayo sa utang. Bibili lang po tayo or mangungutang lang po tayo para bumili ng gadget. Bad debt po yun. Okay? So yung mga dapat nating iwasan. So why should we manage our debts? Debt can turn into a disease. It can control your life, diminish your happiness, and limit your freedom. Bakit nga ba diminish your happiness and limit your freedom? So may mga naka-experience po ba sa atin na tipong sa so sobrang laki na po ng utang natin, di ba? Tinataguan na natin yung mga naniningil. May kakatok na po na tao sa bahay at sasabihin natin sa anak natin, anak, pakasabi, wala, po, wala ako. So kakatok na. O, oh, inayang, nasa yung mag nanay mo? Diba? Sabi po ni mama, wala siya. Diba? Kidding aside, di ba? Limit your freedom. Diba? Diminish your happiness kasi bakit nasa stress ka eh. So, kapag si A, nangutang, mangungutang ka kay A. Pambayad mo kay B. Diba? So, mangungutang ka ulit kay, ano, mangungutang ka ulit kay B, pambayad kay C. Diba? So, magpapatong-patong. Magpapatong-patong lang yung utang natin. And mas lalaki yung mga interest natin. Okay? 
So, paano tayo makakabangon sa mga kautangan? Ano nga ba? So, ito pong book na to is written by my uh, tito and tita. Belly, uh, I mean, Sir Benji and Feli Santiago. Ayan, tips to manage debt. So, makukuha niyo po itong book na to sa feastbooks.com. So, tips to manage debts. Increase cash flow, reduce expenses, and increase income. Don't get into more debt. Live below your means or live simply. Change habit of spending to habit of saving. Make a list of all debts and pay off the high interest and low balance. Consider liquidating non-income assets to pay debts and get a coach to guide you. So, increase po yung cash flow natin and reduce expenses natin. Diba? Yung po yung mga sima natin. Tapos, sulat natin. Ano nga ba yung mga utang natin na may mas mataas na interest rate? Yung unahin natin bayaran. Diba? And then, para mag-low balance din po tayo sa mga interest natin. Okay? So, kung may mga assets naman po tayo na kailangan natin um, liquidate, liquidate na po natin or benta natin, di ba? Para makabawas sa mga kautangan natin. Get a coach to guide you. So, yung mga coaches po, I'm sure they'll be um, willing to guide you po. So, lala, pwede po tayong mag-ask ng help. Paano ko nga ba mga iba-budget yung pera ko? Diba? So, kung may sakit po tayo sa physically, we go to a doctor. Pero kung may sakit po tayo sa bulsa, we get a coach to guide us. Financial coach. Pero, lalapit po tayo kay financial coach, hindi po para manghiram ng pera. Okay? Nag-guide lang po tayo ng coaches natin para mag-guide po tayo. Ano nga ba yung tamang investment na gagawin ko? Paano nga ba ako makapag-budget? Paano ba ako makapag-save sa income ko? Alright? Ganun po siya. So, if you want to get out of debt, you need to increase income plus reduce lifestyle. So, the speed to earn must be faster than the speed to spend. So, dapat mas mabilis tayong kumikita kaysa sa mas mabilis tayong gumagastos ng pera. Okay? Yan. Number four. Uh, yan na ba ito? Pang-apat. Yan. Emergency funds, savings, or bonds. Diba? So, chapter five, build emergency fund. Paano kung may emergency o lockdown? So, ito po yung mga unexpected scenario. So, potential emergency scenarios natin. Build emergency fund kasi minsan loss of job. Major home repairs. Major car repairs. Serious hospitalization. Major appliance repairs. Extended elderly care. Yan. So, we must make sure we have emergency funds. Having emergency funds of about 3 to 6 months of your total expenses will free you from financial stress. So, ganun po siya. Para ma-free tayo from our financial stress. Kailangan po meron tayong 3 to 6 months of your total expenses na mas save. So, kung kunwari, meron tayong um, 30,000 expenses natin or 20,000 a month, dapat daw 3 to 6 months nun ma-save natin para ma-cover natin. So, just in case, magkaroon tayo ng loss of job. Diba? Yung, imagine niyo po, unexpectedly, si Shangri-La Hotel. Marami pong nawala na trabaho. Five-star hotel po yan. Diba? Due to lockdown or emergency, marami pong nawala ng trabaho. Diba? So, yun po yung mga dapat nating iwasan. So, magkaroon, po man, magkaroon man po ng loss of job, meron tayong madudukot. Diba? Meron tayong three to six months diba to sustain our expenses and makaka-survive na makapaghanap ulit tayo ng panibagong trabaho. Okay, so build the emergency fund. So again po, credit card po not an emergency fund. Okay, po si credit card po is mataas ang interest rates. Okay, so build the emergency funds to free you from financial stress. So sabi po ni Sir Warren Buffet, okay, Buffett, yeah, save the right way. Do not save what is left after spending. Spend what is left after saving. Okay? So, dapat po, pagdating po ng income natin, yan, save muna natin and then spend what is left. Okay? So, ipon muna bago gastos. So, okay, where do I get the money to build my solid financial foundation? Kasi iniisip natin, paano nga, eh, wala nga akong, may, wala nga akong pera, may utang pa ako. Diba? Ganun po yung mga reason natin. Hindi ako makapag-start, hindi ako makapag-invest kasi wala akong pera. So, paano nga ba? Tignan natin. So, increase income. Use your spare time. Have a side hustle. Go for online business. Generate passive income. Reduce expense. Live simply. Pay God and yourself first. So, bakit nga ba pay God and yourself first? Yan. So, ito pong formula na to. Ito po yung pinaka... Gusto ko rin tandaan natin for today. Ano nga ba to? 
ito po yung usually the first step natin para tayo makapagsimula, makapag-save. So, 100% income minus 10% tithes. Okay? Pay God. Okay? 10% tithes. Bakit? Siyempre po, malakas tayo ngayon na pagising natin ng umaga na pagtrabaho po tayo dahil kay God. Diba? So, we're, imagine, sa lahat po ng blessings na nare-receive natin, we're only returning 10%. Diba po, nasa Bible po yan, which is the Malakay 310. Diba? So, 10% tithes po, ibabalik natin kay God. Imagine, diba? Or, kung di man, kung may mga charities man po tayo na mapagdonatean, diba? Share your blessings. Okay? So, other one is minus 20%. Pay yourself. Diba? Savings, 20%. So, imagine po, dapat po, banabayan din natin sa sarili natin bakit tayo po yung nagtatrabaho. So, dapat mayroon din tayong savings, 20% savings. So, yung 10 and 20% po, non-negotiable po dapat siya. Okay? So, is equals to 70% expenses. So, kung hindi po enough yung 70% natin para sa mga expenses natin, after natin i-deduct si 10 and 20% from our income, kailangan po natin mag-increase ng cash flow. Okay, so ito po yung prosperity formula. So spend below your means, create and monitor your budget and live simply. So how do we live simply? So classify your needs and wants, purpose o forma. ba? Diba? So kung isipin po natin, kung bibili tayo ng relo, ba? Diba? Lagi po itong sinasabi ng papa ko eh. Kung bibili tayo ng relo, na worth 500 pesos lang at bibili tayo ng Rolex na relo na libo-libo. Diba? Magkaiba po ba yung oras niyan? Mas mabilis po ba yung oras ng mamahaling relo sa worth 500 na relo? Siyempre hindi. Parehas lang po yung oras niyan. Okay? So, save instead of sale. Diba? Kung bibili tayo, isipin ko, ah, yung favorite kong damit. Dati, 1,000 yan. Ngayon, 500 na lang. 50% off. Diba? Bibiling ko na kasi 500 lang naman. So, instead na bili natin siya, isave na lang natin. Kasi kung bibili natin yung sale, gumasos pa rin tayo ng 500 pesos. Diba? Reduce eat out kung kaya naman po natin magluto. Diba? Para maiwas gastos. Okay? So, iwas luho para iwas luha. Okay? So, back to basics. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Zero waste. Eliminate waste leaks. Turn off when not in use, electricity, di ba? Turn trash into cash. Bakit? Di ba? So, tulong na rin po natin to sa Mother Earth natin. And makasave tayo ng bills natin. Di ba? So, iwas, aksaya. Cut the little expenses. Remember, your 33 pesos per day can go a long way. As Benjamin Franklin said, a small lick can sink a great ship. So, yeah, may mga guilty po ba sa atin? Yeah, milk tea, mga fast food. Yan. So, bawas maliliit na gasta. Diba? So, these small amounts when invested correctly will be millions for your future. Imagine nyo po ah. So, sabi natin, wala tayong mapaguhuna ng pera. Pero, for example, tumataya tayo, tumataya tayo sa loto. 20 pesos, one times a day. Savings per day is 20 pesos. Savings per month is 600 pesos. Diba? Milk tea. Imagine po natin, alam ko po, more than 150 pesos na si milk tea or si Starbucks. ba? Or coffee. ba? 150 pesos. So frequency per day, 150. ba? Mas save natin savings per day. Just in case, for example, every day tayo nag Starbucks or we bili ng milk tea. ba? 150. Savings per month po natin is 4,500. ba po? Paano pa kung, kung ngari, may mga bisyo tayo? ba? For example, 80 pesos ang cost. ba? Ng alak or ng um, pakete ng yosi. ba? Frequency per day. For example, nakakadalawa tayo per day. Savings per day natin, 160. Savings per month natin is 4,800. Imagine, may 4,800 pala tayo pwedeng isave. ba? Ang buo po nagsisimula sa barya. So, yan. Dapat tandaan po natin yan. So, understand where your money goes. Dapat alam natin. Saan nga ba pumupunta yung pera natin? Know your big leaks, liabilities. Assets are anything you buy or have that puts money in your pocket, according to Sir Robert Kiyosaki. Imagine. 
So, for example, di ba, kung tingin po natin is yung kotse, kunwari, bibili tayong kotse. May kotse na tayo, bibili pa tayo ulit ng kotse. Tapos, yung kotse na is matitenga lang. Kung hindi naman po natin siya i-register sa Grab or Deliveries or food, food Panda na hindi naman po nagpapasok na income sa atin, is magiging liabilities lang po siya. Bakit? Siyempre, maintenance, pampagas. Di ba? Eh, pag hindi mo paginamit yung kotse mo, eh, mas lalo lang masasayang yung pera natin. Di ba? Ganun po siya. Okay, so bawas yabang para iwas utang. Okay, so ayan. Ito po, isa pa po sa mga dapat natin tandaan. Sabi ni Lolo Einstein, we need to know and harness the power of compounding interest. Ito po, maganda po itong compounding interest na to. Sabi ni Lolo Einstein, it's not enough to save money, grow it through investment. Sabi po niya, 72 divided by interest rates is equal to number of years to double your money. So isipin natin, 72 divided by interest rates, yun daw po yung time na dodoble yung pera natin. Okay, tingnan po natin ha. So correct investments will make money work for you. Ito po yung power of compounding interest. So for example, si A, di ba? May nalaman siyang 4% investment. Di ba? So may 4% investment daw siya. So sabi nga po ni Lolo Einstein, 72 divided by 4 is equals to 18 years. Every 18 years, si A, to double yung pera niya. So for example, si A, may 29 years old. I mean, 29 years old pa lang. And may 100,000 pesos siya na investment. Kay 4%. Diba? Every 18 years, so pagdating niya ng 47 years old, dodoble, magiging 200,000 pesos. Pagdating niya ng 65 years old, meron na siyang 400,000 pesos. Diba? SCB, mas naging matalino kay A. May nalaman siyang 8% na investment. So 72 divided by 8, divided by 8 is equals to 9. So every 9 years, dodoble yung pera ni B. So for example, same thing, 29 years old si B. And then, um, may 100,000 pesos siya. Imagine at the age of 65. Diba? Meron na siyang 1.6 million. Tumoble yung pera niya. ACC, mas naging matalino kay A at kay B. Diba? May nalaman siyang 12% na investment. So, 72 divided by 12 is equals to 6. So, every 6 years, tumodoble yung pera ni C. Imagine. So, for example, let's say, same age, 29 years old, and the same amount of money siya, 100,000 pesos. At the age of 65, meron na siyang 6.4 million. Kasi every six years, tumodobli yung pera niya. Okay? So, it's not enough to save money. We need to grow it through investments. So, dapat alam natin, ano nga ba yung mga magandang investments? Diba? Okay, so ito na po, yung huli, investments. So, growing well through stocks or investments. So, if you love your future self, you need to invest correctly. So, know your why. Pang healthcare ba natin siya? Pang retirement ba natin siya? Pang education? Pang dream house or dream car or dream vacation? Diba? To know where to invest, dapat may investment goals tayo. Alam din natin yung investment vehicles. Okay? So, dapat alam natin yung investment vehicles natin. Goal. Why? Emergency fund. So, si emergency fund, syempre, dapat mabilis natin itong pwedeng kunin. ba? Immediate. So, feature is liquidity, instrument where, deposits or money market. So, for example, sa banko, pwede natin siyang ilagay. Ganun po si emergency fund. Bakit? Kasi kung sakali may mangyari na kailangan natin ng pera, pwede po natin mag-withdraw kagad kay banko. ba? May madudukot po kagad tayo. Home repair, short-term liquidity bonds or time deposit. Diba? Education, kung pang education medium term, growth plus liquidity, balance fund. Kung pang retirement naman siya, long term high growth equity fund or stocks. Pang protection, kung pang protection po ang kailangan natin, long term din po dapat siya. And feature is guarantee. Dapat insurance or HMO. So dapat alam po natin yung mga investment vehicles natin and investment goals natin. Okay. So, investing in the stock market. Stocks equals ownership. Bonds equals indebtedness. Bonds are lower risk. Stocks are higher risk. Low risk, low return, and vice versa. So, ganun po si stocks. Kasi po si stocks po is bumababa, tumataas ang market. So, dapat alam natin yung mga goals natin. Okay? So, para malaman natin kung saan natin sila i-invest. 
yung pera natin na pinaghirapan natin. So, know your risk appetite. Invest with a goal. Okay, so, understanding mutual funds. Si mutual fund po, sa investing po kasi or sa stocks po kasi, may indirect investing and direct investing. So, indirect po is si mutual fund. Okay, so, may professional management po siya. And then potentially high returns, low capital, or instant diversification, um, safety and transparency, and tax exempt po siya. So, kung sa mutual fund po tayo mag invest yan. So, I suggest po para sa mga baguhan, diba, indirect investing muna po tayo. Um, may mga professional po na magda-diversify ng pera natin sa market. Okay? So, money cost averaging. So, this strategy is very simple. A constant amount is invested at a specific time interval. Constant amount po siya. Specific time interval. So, huwag to miming. Tuloy-tuloy lang. Bakit? So, for example, kung may kita po natin sa first graph, di ba? Month 1, uh, may 100 pesos na investment. And then, same thing. For 6 months, meron po tayong 100 monthly contribution. And then, price per share po, kung titignan niyo po, sa second um, column, 100 pesos po siya. Diba? Pero ang accumulated share natin is isa lang. Isa lang po yung nabili natin, accumulated I mean, accumulated share. Diba? Pero sa month 2, same amount of money ang contribution natin, bumaba si market. Pero, naging dalawa yung shares na nabili natin. Diba? Sa third month, same amount of money, 100 pesos. Tapos bumaba ulit si market, 25. Pero apat the shares ang nabili natin. Tapos fourth month, bumaba ulit, 20 pesos. Pero five shares ang nabili natin. Tapos tumaas, four. Tapos sa last month natin, sa sixth month natin, 50 pesos, tumaas si market. Dalawa yung shares na nabili natin. Diba? So kung isipin po natin, diba? 18 shares times 50 last share price, diba? Times 50. Tapos total value after 6 months is 900. Tingin niyo po ba kumita tayo? Diba? So total value after 6 months minus the total contribution which is 600 pesos. Yes po, kumita tayo ng 300 pesos. Gain after 6 months. Ganun po si um, stocks, diba? Bakit nga ba yung mga mayaman? Pag mababa si market, mas bumibili sila na ng stocks. Diba? Kasi mas mura. Mas marami silang shares na mabibili. So kung gusto niyo po na mas um, detailed information with regards to mutual fund, yan, um, as the person who have invited you po to attend the webinar, may free webinar din po tayo. With this specific fact. Tama po. Hu huwag po tayong timing. Tuloy-tuloy lang when it comes to investing. Okay, so proper investment strategies. So ito po ah, yung calculations po is based on 12% compounded per year. So sabi nga po, ba? Kung isipin po natin 12%, kasi si C naging smart kanina, ba? 12% compounded per year. So 20 pesos daily investment, ba? 20 years old. Uh, I mean, uh, in 20 years, meron na siyang 590,000. 30 years, ba? Imagine 2.6 million. And after 40 years, meron na siyang 7 million. And what more kung 100 pesos daily ang kaya natin i-save? Diba? Kung daily po, ha? imagine at 20 years, meron na pong 2.95 million. Diba? And 40 years is 35 million. What more kung kaya natin mag-save mag ng 500 pesos per day? At 20 years, meron na po tayong 14.75 million. Diba? At 40 years, meron na 165 million. Kung alam po talaga natin yung proper investment strategies. Okay? So, invest early, consistently, and long-term. Huwag po tayong tumayaming. Okay? So, syempre, yan. So, where can you, I mean, where, where can your money grow faster? So, ima, kung isipin po natin 100 pesos per day, under the pillow ba? Rate of return, 0%. So, isipin natin, kung nga si A, may isip niya, mayroon siyang pera, 100 pesos. Resave ko sa pilo ko, ba? At 20 years, meron 720,000. Yes, nakapag-save. Congratulations, ba? Kasi makapag-save pa rin tayo ng pera. At 30 years, meron 1 million. At 40 years, meron siyang 1.44 million. Tapos si B, nag-save sa savings bank. Diba? Rate of return is 0.10%. Kung isipin niyo po yung compounded per year, diba? Tapos 20 years, 727,000 pesos. 
diba? At 30 years, meron siyang 1.1 million. And at 40 years, meron siyang 1.47 million. Diba? Kasi ilang beses lang bang dumoble yung pera niya. Diba? So, kung alam natin yung right investments, diba? rate of return is 12%. At 20 years, meron kagad 2.9 million. At 30 years, 10.3 million. At 40 years, 34.3 million. Kung isipin po natin, tagal, no? Pero hindi po. Napakabilis lang po ng parahon. Minsan nga po, parang lumilipas lang po eh. Ngayon po, anong month na naman ngayon? ba? Tapos magbe-burr month na naman. Napakabilis po. Lumipas ng isang taon. Diba? So, those who harness the power of compounding, compounding interest wins. Kung alam po natin, those who start early wins more. So, time is of great value. So, yung mga millennials po natin, nakakailan po kagad ng stock market. Napakagaling po. Congratulations po. Diba? Nakapag-start po sila at early age. Diba? So, good news. IMG access, have access to both direct and indirect stock investing. There are about 43 mutual funds in 33 mutual fund companies in the Philippines. There are more than 200 direct stock brokerage in the PSEI. Sa IMG, you can do both with zero entry fee. Yan, zero entry fee po yan. So bottom line, we need all the building blocks of a solid financial foundation. We just need to make sure we know the priorities. So alamin po dapat natin, ano nga ba yung mga priorities natin? So have the complete solutions, education, execution, entrepreneurship, and environment. So syempre po, kung sa IMG po kasi, you can tuloy po ang learning dito. Diba? Um, may mga free webinars po tayo that we can always attend. Diba? So, may education, execution, and entrepreneurship, and environment. Bakit po? Kasi lahat po ng tao dito sa IMG is, can help you. Diba? Minsan po kasi mahirap mag-discipline sa sari- ng sarili. Pero someone or the coaches can always help. Diba? So, the total financial solution. So, provides financial education on, on all aspects of personal finance. Receive training and support to manage, invest, and protect your money. Yan. Gives access for execution to hundreds of financial products and services. So, imagine the blue chip companies. Diba? So, save money on products and services needed to build our solid financial foundation. Uh, IMG Advantage, DIY removes the middleman, you save money. So, imagine po, uh, IMG, DIY, no middleman, you save money. Bakit po? Magkakaroon ka ng access kagad directly dito sa healthcare insurance, investments, general insurance, real estate, and many, more, many, many more. Kapag non-member po tayo, may middleman pa po tayo. So, sino pong kumikita? Si middleman natin. Bago na natin ma-access itong healthcare insurance, investments, general insurance, and real estate. And many, many more. Okay, so CIMG increase our cash flow by entrepreneurship by sharing our know-how in this fast-growing industry. So may option po tayo to run the business of IMG. So a business opportunity to achieve our financial goals faster. Ayan. So the new world of possibilities, one-time lifetime membership and annual renewal every December po siya. So, ito po, sa, uh, meron pong 48 plus benefits si IMG kapag nagpa-member po tayo. Pero sa summarize ko na lang po. So, extraordinary membership platform, 1,000 investment in mutual fund with zero entry fee. So, from um, IMG membership, automatic po si 1,000 investment, pumupunta po siya kay mutual fund. So, umpisa pa lang po, ginagayit na po tayo kagad ni IMG. Diba? To um, invest in mutual fund. Okay? So, 100,000 personal accident insurance, two free eyeglasses frames per year, unlimited medical consultations at Kaiser Medical Centers, 20% discount on medical laboratory tests, discounts on car purchases, discounts on auto property, auto and property insurance, discounts on real properties, lifetime access to financial seminars and workshops. So lifetime updating and coaching on investments and financial checkup. Yan po, marami po tayo dyan. And extra or um, other benefits you can avail or qualify. Optional po, add 500 pesos and get 50,000 life insurance. Imagine po, 500 pesos lang po babayad natin. Meron na po kagad tayo, 50,000 pesos worth of life insurance. And this is opportunity for additional income. Free travels all over the world, free SUV, SUV free HMO, and plus many, many more benefits. So kung kailangan po natin na more information with regards to the benefits of IMG, for becoming a, for becoming a member as lang po natin yung tao nag-invite sa atin dito i'm sure po gagayd po nila kayo for more information 
Okay? So, living a life of significance. So, my IMG journey, when and why did I become a financial educator? Bakit nga ba? Bakit nga po ba nag-decide ako na maging financial educator? So, my source of inspiration is, syempre po, yung family ko. And so, yung parents ko po is already uh, uh, a member of IMG. Ayan. Pero po, syempre po, yung tumatanda na rin po yung family ko, I mean yung parents ko, so as a, as their eldest daughter, somehow I have a responsibility pagdating din po sa mga kapatid ko. Hindi naman po binibigay sa akin na magulong ko yung responsibility na yun, pero parang personal responsibility ko po siya. Okay, so yan po yung source of inspiration ko. Ayan. So I want to build my own solid financial foundation. Isang reason din po kung bakit I joined IMG and I wanted to become a financial educator as well. Kasi po, gusto ko rin po magkaroon ng sarili kong solid financial foundation para lagi po handa. And magkaroon po ako ng um, freedom from fear. Diba? Financial freedom is freedom from fear na hindi po natin kakayanan yung future natin. Huwag ano naman yung mga responsibilities na possible na mangyari. Diba? So, yan po. So, Um, 2013 pa lang po, alam ko na si IMG. Na-introduce na po siya sa akin ng parents ko. Pero dahil I have a YOLO mindset before, yung you only live once, di ba? Ang iniisip ko po nun is, gusto ko po munang mag-enjoy para sa sarili ko. Ganun po yung thinking ko talaga dati. Siyempre, iniisip ko, bata pa ako. So, pag dumating yung income ko, gusto ko gagasusin ko kagad. Ganun po yung mindset ko po nun. So, nag- Work na po ako on different jobs na customers associate with your rentals. Hindi ko po alam kung alam niyo po yun yung parang video city dati. So, nag-customer associate po ako doon. Ang kinikita ko nun is 3,000 pesos lang per month. Tapos, inisip ko hindi sapat yung income ko. Gusto ko mas malaki yung sweldo ko. So, nag-customer support representative ako. Nag-call center agent ako. Siyempre, iniisip nila. Kapag call center ka, malaki sweldo mo, di ba? Tapos hindi pa rin po para sa hindi pa rin po sapat sa akin, nag real estate agent, agent pa po ako and nag freelancer pa po ako. 'Di ba? So kahit ano man pa man po ang trabaho ko noon, wala akong savings. Kahit gaano pa po kalaki yung kinikita ko, wala po akong savings. Hanggang sa nagkaroon ng emergency. Yung unexpected emergency. Hindi ko na po ikukuwento kung ano yung emergency na yun. pero something really happened na naging turn turning point ko. 'Di ba? So, nagkaroon po ako ng more debts and responsibilities dahil sa emergency. Diba? Mas nagkaroon po ako ng marami utang and mas lumaki po 'yung responsibilities ko. 'Di ba? Dahil wala akong savings, hindi ako prepared. So, I have to make a decision and take action. So, December 2020 po, I talked to my parents. So, sabi ko, "Ma, pa, uh, I remember 'yung mga tinuturo nila sa akin." when it comes to saving and investing. ba? Diba? So, si IMG po siya. So, kinausap ko sila na gusto ko magkaroon ng changes sa life ko. So, January 2021, I started to learn, to, le- um, to learn more about IMG, started to learn where my money goes, started to manage my finances. So, ayun po, started to share the mission. So, share ko pa rin po yung mission kasi po nasa puso ko po talaga yung ayoko po marang, mangyari sa ibang tao, yun nangyari sa akin. Ayoko po ma-experience sila na uh, kailangan pa nila ma-experience yung sobrang hirap na ng buhay, di ba? Bago pa magkaroon ng um, hope, di ba? So, I wanted to teach financial education po talaga. Ayan. So, February 4, 2021, promote as marketing director of International Marketing Group po, IMG. So, sometimes the smallest step in the right direction ends up being the biggest step of your life. Tip to if you must but take the step. So, imagine po, ah, um, sometimes po, talagang, kung mag-iisip po tayo, it's really hard, pero kailangan po, mag-start tayo. We need to take the step. Kahit, kahit gano'n mga kalaki yung step na yan, at least, we take the step, di ba? We took the step na, um, mag-move forward sa buhay natin, mag-plano para sa future natin. Di ba? If I can do it, I know you can do it too. Diba? So, who wants any or all of these? Diba? Free financial checkup, invest in mutual funds, get healthcare protection, life insurance, manage debt, join IMG, do the mission and business, be financially healthy, free Asian mall travels, SUV and more. So, no matter who you are, age, profession, 
25 years old CPA, 33 years old CPA, or 19 years old sales lady. Kung hindi po natin alam yung proper investment and saving po, or savings and investment po, um, wala rin po ang pupuntahan. Magiging paulit-ulit lang po yung scenario natin. Diba? So imagine po si Ma'am Alisa po. Um, yan, isa rin po sa mga inspiration niya yan. Kasi po, nag-start po siya with IMGs. 19 years old lang po siya. Sales lady po siya. Malit lang po ang kinikita niya ng 3,000 per month. Pero po, nag-start po siya kay IMG noon. Nakapag, nung nalaman niyo po sa IMG, nalaman niyo pa kung paano mag-save and invest. Ngayon po, proud to say, si Ma'am Alisa po may solid financial foundation na po siya. Diba? And prepared na po siya para sa kanyang future. So here's the good news. Whatever situation you are in right now, you can make a change. You can go from being broke to being blessed. You can start today. So if it's your time to take action. You will always have an excuse not to save or invest. No matter what your excuse, one thing is for sure. You will, go, uh, you will get older next year. So like what happened to me po. Diba? Kung isipin niyo po, YOLO po yung um, mindset ko before. Eh. You only live once. Pero we also need to remember, Yago. Diba? You also grow old. Diba? Tumatanda din po tayo. So you will eventually retire and stop making active income. Hindi po natin alam kung hanggang kaya natin kayang magtrabaho para sa pera. So we need to be prepared. Thus, be prepared to the ifs of life. Remember the solutions. Emergency funds, long-term care, insurance, or investments. So let's do the following steps. Know your financial status and define your financial goals. Build a solid financial foundation. Define your personal financial strategy. Meet the person who have invited you after the session. So how do we get started? Join, own, share, and earn. Join for only 5,500 one-time lifetime joining fee with 1,000 in mutual funds. So automatic po from the 5,500, yung 1,000 nyo po, ibibigay na po hagad kay mutual fund. May investment po hagad kayo. And 1,500 pesos renewal every start of the year plus 48 plus amazing membership benefits. Own our Kaiser Level 1 appropriate to our needs and capability based on your personal financial blueprint. Only 2,647 minimum for ages 10 to 40 years old. So share to learn and earn. We spread the mission to help families create wealth, starting with ourselves and our family, and start to earn within 24 hours. So isn't this an amazing mission to join and pursue? So imagine you po na magtuturo po tayo for the people how to save and invest. Diba? Para po sa future nila. Diba? So ganun po siya. Okay, so increase your cash flow, learn, share, earn more, invest more, be an IMG associate, spread the mission, earn additional income. So it's your choice po, di ba? So attend training workshops, become your own financial educator. So ayan po yung address po sa Makati. So if you need more information, ask the person who have invited you as well po. Okay, so it all starts with financial education. So pag, pag naging member po tayo, ito po yung portal natin na ma-access po natin um, dyan po natin makikita po yung mga um, investment vehicles po na pwede rin natin pag-investan. Okay? And yung mga many, 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 many more updates and events. Okay? So enjoy the amazing benefits. So to God be the glory. It's all about love. Love yourself, love your family, and love the people around you. Love one another as I have loved you. We did it. You can do it too and join our mission now. So thank you po sa lahat ng umaten for this afternoon. And I hope marami po tayong tutunan na pwede natin apply for our daily life di ba? Um, sa mga finances natin and sa mga pagsasave and pag-iinvest natin. And thank you po. To God be the glory po. Bye-bye.